So Dennis, thanks so much uh, for taking your time uh, and sharing your story with the world. <laughs> All right. Now, let's start off with uh, when were you diagnosed with diabetes and how was your health at that time? Uh, first diagnosis came uh, early February this year. Mm -hmm. Uh couple of months previous, I, you know, started, I noticed, okay, the, I was due for some new vision prescriptions and drinking a lot of what just couldn't get enough to drink, going to the bathroom all the time. And, and, uh, I've got a couple daughters that are nurses and, and they said, dad, just go to the doctor get your diagnosis, learn that you're diabetic and, you know, then we'll figure out what we need to do from there. <laughs> you know, I, you know, other than those few things, I didn't feel bad, didn't hurt or anything, but mm -hmm. you know, the, the wake up call. The wake up call. When your daughters told you that, we're, we're, I'm, I can imagine you were probably thinking, nah, I'm not diabetic. You know? <laughs> were, you, were you in doubt a little bit? <laughs> well, it, my dad is diabetic. My sister is diabetic. Uh, I said, okay, uh, yeah. uh, this, this is probably what it is. What it is. Yeah. I can imagine it was probably, it was a hard pill to swallow. Cause when we talked, uh, you went into action pretty quick. You called me, you knew about the pro diabetes 180 program, but it seemed like you were a little, still a little hesitant to accept, Hey, um, I'm, I'm a diabetic, you know, uh, because nobody wants to have diabetes. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> So um, you were different than uh, a lot of the people I've worked with because you hit the ground running. You were ready to go out the gate, you know. Um, but I always like to ask people, was there anything that you were trying before starting the program as far as medications or, you know, diets or anything like that? Uh, no medications. I'm, you know, I'm pretty much anti-drugs in all forms. Uh, but, you know, being a, a lifetime Seventh-day Adventist, we've had the health message. Mm. And for the most of my life, I've, you know, basically ignored a lot of it. Mm. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, six, eight months prior, my wife and I decided, okay, well, we're going to start doing the intermittent fasting. We're going to start, you know, laying off some of the junk and the refined. And so we had already committed to making some changes it, just at, at this point, okay, we got to get more radical and more serious. Mm, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So that, that, that having been diagnosed, um, kind of put things, kick things into full gear, um, along with the changes you were already trying to make. Yes. Okay. Um, so, uh, when you were diagnosed, you had your wife, change a lot too <laughs> right and and as far as what she prepares to eat she's the she, one that makes meals right yeah she said if you're doing this i'm doing this yes. well, whatever we do you know it's both of us yes yes so um i i don't know if i asked you this how did you first hear about the diabetes 180 program uh well you know you and i have known each other and been friends for a while and kind of followed your posts that you had had on Facebook and other things. And I said, well, Hey, I know Lewis, I trust him, but you know, let me give him a call and see what this is about. Okay. Okay. Awesome. And then you already knew being like you said, seven day events, you already knew about vegetarianism, um, the importance of limiting, um, animal products. You, you, you're, um, very mindful of a lot of things we teach already, but, there's Knew a lot, it, but didn't follow it. You didn't follow, yeah. <laughs> but, you didn't follow. but at the same time, though, you know, a lot of people are vegetarian, following what they understand to be healthy, still turn become diabetic. Um, but in our program, you learned about low fat, whole food, plant based, which is totally different genre of health of healthy, right? And and even vegan to that point, I you know I look at and read the labels on a lot of this stuff they call vegan. I said, you know. The fat level that's in here, I I, I can't eat that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep. So even a vegan vegetarian diets can be too too high in fat, yes. um, and it's a transition, right? It's a big change. What was was there any frustrations or difficulties in adjusting your diet? Uh, 
Oh, there still is. Okay. I, you know, I, I still struggle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. Yeah. Uh, you know, 60 plus year habits are tough. Yeah. 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 So how would, what would you attribute to what helped you turn things around and be consistent in, in uh, the life changes, lifestyle changes you made? Knowing that I had to mm -hmm. um, and, and having my wife's support, you know, she changed radically the way she prepares and does things. And, uh, you know, and then the learning through the diabetes, you know, the 180. Mm -hmm. Some of the whys and the wherefores, how my body works, how it functions, you know, just getting these things into my mind and to where, okay, hey, this is going to have to be a mental thing as well as an action thing. I've, I've got to believe it. I've got to live what I believe if if I don't want to live on drugs the rest of my life. That's right. Yeah. You're anti-drug man. So you had no, it, you had one option. <laughs> one one option. Cause drugs aren't an option with me. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we missed an important question. So what, what was your A1C uh, before you started working with diabetes 180? Uh, my, my first uh, diagnosis and test was 11.4. Okay. Gotcha. And then after working with the program, what, what did it drop down to? Uh, my three month follow up, it was down to 5.7. It's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. So, uh, uh, along with you know, having a complete turnaround in your A1C, where did you have any other benefits or you know, things that you benefited from in, in, in the changes you made? Uh, you know, we've I have increased the you know, the exercise, the activity, adjusted the diet. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, some other things, breathing, doing some breathing, uh, aches and pains are diminishing. Wow. I I feel better. Uh, I've always slept good, so that's never been a problem. I seem to have, you know, more endurance. Uh, the bed, the the results have all been positive. All positive. All good side effects, which is... Good Very side effects. <laughs> Opposite drugs. of drugs. Yeah, drugs come with side effects even when they do work, <laughs> right? Right. Where do you think you would be? I know this is a big question, but where do you think you would be health-wise if you didn't make these changes? You know, continuing in the lifestyle I was in, I would still be considerably overweight. Uh, aches, pains continue and get worse. Uh eyesight was going you know the in three months the difference probably wouldn't be huge but over the long haul i it would have been a train wreck yes yes people don't realize that the leading cause of adult blindness is diabetes you know um so uh, uh, if, one of many serious complications right and you yeah, are it, yeah, I think that's the that's the problem with diabetes. It comes so slowly and so imperceptibly a lot of times that you know before you think about it, you've got it. Yeah, yeah. And and unless you make those changes, you know, your health is going downhill. Maybe not rapidly, but steadily. 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 Well, I think that leads to our last question. Well, actually, I should ask because people are probably want to know. You mentioned losing weight. You know, how, how much did you lose? Did you? Uh, the the initial changes that Candy and I had done, I, I had dropped about twenty pounds doing that. Okay. Uh, in the last three months, it's been another twenty five. Really? Wow. And and uh, you know, I've I've set a goal. I got. I got 10 or 15 to go, but I'll get there. Let's go. Another positive side effect. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> so reversing your diabetes. What would you tell people who are skeptical maybe or on the fence, hesitant about pulling the trigger and hiring a health coach and doing a program like Diabetes 180? Uh, it has been ve beneficial. The the information of how the, the body works, you know, n not just 
hey, do this. I, I got to have a little more. Why do I need to do this? Mm-hmm. And it answered a lot of the whys. And we dealt with the, okay, the mindset, what you have to do. Okay, it, these big changes, they're going to be difficult. You have got to be convinced in your mind and some of the mental aspect of following through and making these determinations and decisions and sticking with them. It's, it's all beneficial. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, man. Dennis, thank you so much for sharing your story. Um, I know it's going to help a lot of people out there. And, um, you know, thank you for your time. Yeah, well, if, if I can do it, anybody can. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's my mentality, man. <laughs> All right. God bless you, brother. All right. Take care. You too.